hey guys and welcome back and for those of you that are new here thanks for joining so as i am sitting here editing this vlog i realized i did not record an intro or outro so let's go ahead and get that done <laughs> so that you know what to expect um today's gonna be a cooking vlog so lou absolutely loves buddha bowls also known as nourish bowls and her favorite one is a combination that includes roasted sweet potatoes and crispy chickpeas. So I wanted to bring you guys along, cook this with you so that you too can make it at home and enjoy it. Let's take a peek at all of the ingredients that we will be using for Lou's absolute favorite nourish bowl. So first one is we're gonna use about a cup of brown rice. I may use one sweet potato, but I also may use two. We'll see once I chop it, because these are fairly small. We're gonna use the can of chickpeas, a good handful of kale, has avocado. It'll be drizzled with some of that roasted garlic sauce. The chickpeas and the sweet potato will have some extra virgin olive oil to assist it roasting, and it will be seasoned with pink salt, and black pepper. That's all the ingredients you'll need for this bowl. Let's get started. First thing I want to get going is the rice because that is going to take about half an hour. So I am going to get one cup of brown rice, add it to my rice cooker, and we're going to get two cups of water. Now if you're not doing this in a rice cooker, I would put two cups of water to boil on your stovetop. Once it starts to boil, add a little bit of salt, a little drop of oil, add in your rice, stir it, cover it, lower the heat to low, and let it sit for 30 minutes. Do not uncover it for those 30 minutes while it's cooking. You do want to add a little dash of salt. And I want to add a drizzle of EVO. All right, so next up is peeling the sweet potato. She will likely just have one. We'll see after I dice it. Um, but I'm still going to do two because it's always nice to have leftovers. This can be added to make a sweet potato hash in the morning for breakfast um, or add it to your scrambled eggs or even inside of a wrap. Now that we've got our sweet potatoes peeled, let's go ahead and dice them into bite-sized pieces. You're going to transfer your sweet potatoes onto a baking dish. Let's drizzle our sweet potatoes with a little bit of EVOO. Sprinkle with some pink salt. Sprinkle with some black pepper. and stir it with our hands. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands before I touch the pan. All right, and into the convection oven it goes. This should work the same in your regular oven. Just keep in mind, temperatures and times vary. So just check it periodically until it's to your liking. So I'm gonna close this. I'm going to set mine to bake at 350 I'm gonna set it for 15 minutes and we will be taking it out but it will be going back in that'll just be the first phase while we wait for the sweet potatoes to start to soften we're gonna go ahead and open up this can drain it and rinse it because this is gonna go in for the second half of the time that the sweet potatoes is cooking so that these can crisp up We've got our can of chickpeas open. I'm going to strain it, but I'm also going to rinse it. 
Now I do recommend that you shake it around for a little bit because the skin will come off. So anytime that you see the skins loose or for the ones that the skin has come off, just go ahead and grab it and go ahead and throw it away. It'll go into my strainer, so I'll put it there to the side. Um, the skin is a bit bitter. So the more you can take off, the better. It's not necessary. You can totally exclude this step. Oh, this is telling me it's preheated. Let's go ahead, it says add food. Open, okay, close and restart. Um, but it's an optional step. If you don't wanna go through this, you absolutely do not have to. So this is all the skin I've gotten off just by shaking it around. There's probably going to be more once I put it into the pan. At that point, I'll pick them off as well. All right, so you'll see that the 15 minutes are up. We're going to take out these sweet potatoes. We are going to stir them. We're going to move them to one side and add the chickpeas to the same pan. Let's check these sweet potatoes. They're soft but I would like them to be softer and I would like to start seeing them kind of crisp up where it has that roasted texture. Um, but if you like them soft, this is a good time to just take them out and leave them alone. Since I'm gonna crisp up the chickpeas, texture, 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 I'm just gonna put them to the side so that they can keep cooking and we are going to add these chickpeas in here. Spread them out as much as possible so that they can all be touching the pan at the least and they can crisp up. Remember I said as you start to take them out you'll run into some of these skins. Go ahead and pick out the extra skin that you see. Let's drizzle your chickpeas with some pink salt like we did the sweet potatoes as well as some of the black pepper. I'm not going to add more oil to this because the pan is already coated from the EVO that we put on the sweet potatoes. This is going to go back into the convection oven. Again, I'm going to pick bake 350 and I'm going to do another 15 minutes. So that should total 30 minutes for the sweet potatoes at food. <laughs> it's already at temperature. That should total 30 minutes for the sweet potatoes, 15 for the chickpeas, and 30 minutes for my rice. So the timer went off for the second 15 minutes. Let's take it out and take a peek at these chickpeas. In my opinion, I would like to see them more golden. Some are nice and crispy, like this one but others are still a little white like this one so i think i want to put it in for an extra 10 more minutes i will take out the sweet potatoes though because i do not want them to overcook if they overcook they will taste more rubbery um, and that's not too enjoyable let's shoot for an extra 15 because in the end i am making brown rice and the brown rice does take 45 minutes instead of 30. so these extra 15 minutes should definitely compensate for this being brown rice and then it should all be done at the exact same time the chickpeas are done let's go ahead and take them out and let's take a peek at them All right guys, so the fun part is coming now. It is time to assemble. I'm only gonna give her half of the rice because rice always doubles in quantity when you cook it. So even though we did one cup of rice, it's actually two at this point. And that is a lot for one person. So I'm just gonna serve her half of it. Wanna assemble in a way that the colors will complement each other. So being that the chickpeas is a similar color to the rice, I don't want the chickpeas next to the rice. I'm gonna go ahead and put the kale on one side of the rice and the sweet potatoes 
on another side of the rice. And now we'll add some of these crispy chickpeas on this side so it balances out with colors because we all eat with our eyes first, right? It's all about presentation. And then next up is adding some avocado, which I will put right in the center. Look how pretty that is. Now avocado's flavor always gets enhanced if you sprinkle just a little bit of salt over it. And now for presentation purposes, I'll drizzle some of the garlic sauce, but not much so that she can add as much as she wants. I hope you found this meal easy to make and you enjoy it as much as she does. If you wanna have this with a protein on the side and you don't wanna go vegan, I do recommend going ahead and serving a grilled or fried chicken steak or even a beef steak pork chops will do too enjoy i hope you enjoyed following along watching me make this buddha bowl if you did please give us a big thumbs up comment down below what are some ingredients you'd like to add or um, substitute with for your buddha bowl and if you're new to our channel please hit that subscribe button. Not only will I be doing cooking videos, but we basically live in an RV full time. So you will also find campground tours, neighborhood drives, days that we're out and about doing an adventure in that city. Um, and yeah, days in the life. So I look forward to seeing you in the very next vlog. Bye guys.